Hey, what's good, YouTube? I'm trying to see how I'm coming in on this video. I want to come in like uh, on some funny shit, like I want to be on some serious shit. What's good? <laughs> but no, um, what's good, YouTube? Back with a video. Um, coming to you live from Atlanta. This is actually my last day here. I had a very, very amazing time. I'm going to tell you about that right after this. But yes, my time in Atlanta was fucking amazing. Yeah, so even though, well, when I first, my trip wasn't all bad. I mostly had a, it was 99.9% .9 good. The worst thing that happened when I, the worst thing that happened to me when I got down here was my, my crib got broken into. I had this fucking nice ass, uh, this is, I had a um, fucking Airbnb or whatever the fuck it was. I placed an order on it. The first night I came down here, I went out. I went to the Waffle House on some on some fat shit. I met some people down there. They gave me um, a whole bunch of free food and whatnot. They, oh, you from Chicago? Here, just try this, this, and that. And then uh, the ladies was telling me to go down to um, this restaurant called Mango's. And then I did um, some other shit also. I spent like two, three hours outside, you know, just outside Mango with people talking. I came back to my hotel room. My door was wide the fuck open. Like, I can't make this shit up. That was the only bad part about it. I'm glad nothing was taken. Um, I still had all my clothes, my bag, all my, um, my wallet, my keys. I, had, I still had all that shit with me, but that was the only bad thing that happened. And um, even the booking agency, they was able to give me my money back and hook me up with another room, um, which is where I'm at right now. And I actually prefer this place better than the one I was at. Like the place, the other place had a balcony, like, I got a balcony right here too. We got a um, got a full fucking kitchen, freezer, refrigerator, um, microwave. I got I got all that shit. Now, so I actually prefer this place better. And then I wasn't I wasn't even in the room in the first fucking place. Like I didn't spend a lot of fucking time in this fucking room. I used this to sleep, which I barely slept. <laughs> I didn't get no fucking sleep. I spent all my fucking time outside just to so basically just to come in, shower, and jump right the fuck back outside. So. I never understood why people spend a lot on rooms in the first place. The idea is to go outside and enjoy outside, not to sit in the room, but that's a that's, that's for another topic. But I just wanna keep everything short. I just wanna tell you um, about the things, what made me come down here. Um, it's not like I had any family down here. I know uh, the only time people travel, or sometimes people travel in my case is when people die or some other shit like that. Um, I woke up one morning and I told myself my my um, New Year's resolution to myself. My New Year's resolution to myself for the past two years has always been to get up and travel. It's to do some shit. I don't give a fuck where it was. It was just get up and just, just go. That's been, like I said, it's been my New Year's resolution for the past two years. I failed that resolution numerous amounts of times. Why? One, I was always on the fucking diet. I don't know why I thought that being on a diet would hinder me from having fun on a vacation when I should have been rethinking that. It was fucking stupid. I should have just went on a trip, had fun, excuse me. Should have went on a trip, had fun for a day or two or a week, however the fuck, it, a long, however fuck how long it was. I should have went on a trip, had fun, came back, and just jump right the fuck back on my diet. I don't know why I couldn't get that around my head. Like, that was the most easy shit in the world to just think of. But at that time, when I was trying to lose weight, I was in a different time of my life. I really cared. My weight was really like a hindrance. Like, I really, that shit really got to me. It really did. And um, I just, I just got tired of it, you know. I just feel confident, like, you know, I seen... In my lifetime, in the past couple of years, I had a lot of deaths. Um, some weren't close to me, some were close to me. And I just seen a lot of people lose their life. I seen a lot of young people just just go out and die. And the sad thing about it, it's not like I was looking at them like, oh my God, they didn't live their life, you know. I was looking at them like that person, um, even though they passed away, they lived their life to the fucking fullest, to the point where I know that I feel comfortable saying that 
when they died, they left with no fucking regrets. Like, I just knew they had the best fucking time in life on earth um, and where we are right now. I could feel comfortable saying that when they died, they didn't have any regrets. But them looking on looking on them, I was thinking about myself, like, if I die tomorrow, like, will I, will I regret anything? Will I have any decisions that I wish that I would have done? Like, anything that I really, that I wish that I could have changed? Will I regret anything? The answer was yes. That's the sad, honest truth. The answer was yes. So I promised myself, I said, self, just live, no regrets. And I know I preach this shit. If you guys follow me on Instagram, I'll put my Instagram uh, link right there. If you guys follow my Instagram, I'm always telling you guys to enjoy, love, live life. Now, you guys are my motivation also. You guys motivate me in the sense of I feel like I can't let you guys down either. So I can't be sitting around here. I can't be sitting around here telling you shit that I'm not living. I would never, you would never hear me write uh, anything on a post, some shit that I never did. You would never hear me say anything that I've never actually done. If I don't, if I don't know the information, I'm not finna sit up here and guess and think um, and try to act like I know the fucking answer. I'm gonna tell you I don't know. I'm gonna actually go find out, find the information out. But I would never. That's one thing you guys don't have to worry about. I would never lie to you about some shit. So. Why would I sit up here and tell you about enjoy love and living life if I'm not doing the exact same thing? So this year was a big year. It was a big 360 change for me just to go out and do some different shit, some shit that I wanted to do for a long fucking time. And it felt fucking good. This, this trip felt amazing. I don't want this video to be too fucking long at all, but I just want you guys to go out, have fun, enjoy life. The chicken, rice, and broccoli, that shit gonna be the... When you come back, you're not gonna, you're not gonna gain 10, 15 pounds overnight. It's in fucking possible. Even if you took a week off your diet, you're not gonna gain 30 fucking, 40 fucking pounds on a vacation. Have fun, drink all you want to, eat all you want to, get all the desserts, go out clubbing, dance, do some shit. Even if you gotta go and do some shit by yourself, like I did. I came out here by myself with nobody with me. I had a fucking ball. I ran into a lot of people. I didn't coach people while I was down here. All my Uber drivers was amazing. I got tons of um, information about places to go, where to go to. Um, the stripper ran into a couple of strippers down here. Nicest fucking women that you would ever run into to sit down at 212 with to have a, a real fucking conversation with, like on some real shit. Out of all the things that I did down here, because I did a fucking lot. Like, I did, like, I put some shit up on Instagram, but I did a lot of fucking shit. I was down here. Out of all the shit that I've done, the most impactful thing that I've done since I've been down here was I get to talk and I got to interact with the people. I would have never. I can look at. I can look this shit on TV. You know, I can look at them on YouTube. I can look at them on Instagram, on Facebook. But there's nothing like that one-on-one, -on -one, that one-on-one -on -one interaction that you get with somebody. You connect with that person. That's the most amazing feeling that you cannot get. Stay in your ass in the fucking house. So get up, get out, enjoy life. Trust me when I tell you that diet can wait. Don't be scared to go out there and do some different shit. Don't be scared to, even if you gotta go out, like I said, even if you gotta go out and do it on your fucking own. Go out, leave all of them. If they don't wanna go, that's fine. Go out and just do you. Have fun and remember, enjoy, love, live life. Thank you.